Hello, everyone. This is Al Fadi, and I'd like to welcome you back uh, to this fabulous series on refuting the uh, so called scientific miracles of the Quran. Uh, with me here in studio to do so is Dr. Jay Smith. And uh, we have dealt with a number of those, uh, by the way, miracles. So please, uh, when you follow this series, just check each video because each video represents one of those claims. Today's claim has to do with the idea that the Quran miraculously knew that when a body of water that represents sweet water, uh, uh, you know, comes in contact with a body of water that represents a salty water, somehow there is a barrier that maintains the sweetness and the saltiness separate from each other. Jay, what do you have to say about that? Okay, let's go ahead and open it up, and let's right, go right to the scriptures uh, that refer. There are two scriptures that refer to this. Uh, one is in Surah 25, Ayah 53, and the other one is there in Surah 55, Ayah 19 and 20. So let's start with chapter 25, verse 53, and this is what it says. And it is he who has let free the two seas. So two seas, you got that? Correct. This is palatable and sweet. That's the first. And that is salt and bitter. So one sea is sweet, which Correct. is fresh water. Correct. And the other is salt, which Co would be seawater. Okay? Correct. And he has set a barrier, a complete partition between them. Correct. Now, face value, what does that say to you? Well, I mean, it says that there are two bodies of water and there is something that separates the two from each other. Possibly land. Possibly. In fact, Al-Tabari says it is land. Okay. So Al-Tabari says it's land. Right. Is that the only kind of barrier between salt and Could be fresh? rocks. Could it be it also? Could be human-made barrier, dams, who knows, you know? What about an estuary? What is the definition of an estuary? An yeah. estuary is where a river, all rivers have to go, well, I shouldn't say all, but most rivers finally have to empty somewhere. That's correct. Any big river, if you go to the Mississippi, if you go to the That's Nile. Correct. In fact, the Nile's a pretty good one to go to. Take a look at the Nile and look and see what happens when it comes out into the ocean, into the Mediterranean Sea in this case. That's right. Every time you see an estuary, there is a meeting of fresh and salt. That's correct. There is a barrier that actually creates that. I want them, um, let's look at this next slide here. Take a look at that. That's looking down from above. There's the brown water. Now, why is it brown? Because there's been a heavy rain. That's correct. Anytime there is a heavy rain after a big storm. Listen, I lived in London, and we had the Thames River. It would go out into the, it's called the estuary of the Thames River. The estuary goes out into the channel, the English Channel, and you see this after any big rain, the water turns brown because of all the topsoil that's come and into the water. because deposits and everything else. And you can see it right there in that Correct. picture. There is the estuary going out into <clears throat> the sea. The sea is blue, that's salt. The estuary is brown, that's fresh. It doesn't look too fresh because it's just that's had right. rain. That's right. But that's observable. Anybody can see that that's observable. That is true. And also, I would add, I mean, uh, the verse really doesn't necessarily say a river into a body of water. You can look at it as a, you know, just a, a lake, uh, a, a spring of water that has sweet water, and you have the ocean. I mean, why do we have to stick only with a river and a body of water? I mean, there's so many possibilities here. Okay, let's then now go to chapter yeah. 55. This will answer your question. Verse 19 and 20. He has let loose the two seas, meeting together. So there are meeting. Okay. So now we know that there is an These issue like this. These two seas are meeting. Between them is a barrier which none of them can transgress. Excuse me. None of them can transgress. Meaning the sea is not going to come this way? Well, what it means is there is a barrier. Now, I want you to put up the next slide. Let's look at the next slide here. There is two seas coming together. That's right. There is a barrier. Can you see it? Right now it's visible, yes. <laughs> On the right side is the salt water. On the left side is the other water that's coming in. You can visibly see the barrier between them. Are the boats going back and forth? Absolutely. Can boats go across that barrier? Uh, we can see one of them is crossing already. There you see it's crossing it. But at any estuary, if you go to the Thames or the Mississippi River or the Nile River or any great river, uh, you have fishermen who live inland. How do they do their fishing if they don't go across the barrier? Absolutely. But also, I mean, I'm sure you're aware of this. You know, the, the argument is like if you go even underneath the surface of the water, this barrier prevents salt from mixing with sweet water. 
it actually does mix. And what of happens is the seed well dissipates. Let me go back to that last picture. Let's go back to the previous picture. Can you see that it is, you can see the dissipation going on exactly. visibly. Exactly. The process is starting to go through. The brown is becoming blue. And you Why? can see the brown going to the shores already. That's exactly what's happening. Because the waves are pushing it. And this is why I was rather odd. That not only, this is not really an error. This is nothing more than observation. This is not a scientific proof. But the last one in verse 19, this is an error. This is why I would love Muslims. Please, Muslims, come back to me on this. Between them is a barrier which none of them can transgress. What does it mean none of them can transgress? Are you saying that all the fishermen that live in uh, in these fishing villages that go out from, uh, in the estuaries to do their fishing, they can't transgress it? Listen, those barriers are there every day of the year. They're there all the time. The only time you can really see them is when there is a large storm and if the water turns to brown, as we showed in the picture there. Then you can visibly see it. So there's observation. Are you still suggesting that no fishermen can go out and do their fishing out into the sea? Is that what the Quran is saying? This is a huge error. Absolutely. So not only is the proof not there, uh, this is not a miracle. This is absolutely visible. This is observation, nothing more than observation. Whoever wrote this has been close to an estuary, knowing that the, the fact that they know that there is salt, the fact that they know that there is fresh water means that they have observed both fresh and, nor and salt. If Dabari is trying to say there's a land between it, or is he saying you can't transgress that land? Can you not walk across that land? No. Can you not certainly move from, from the fresh to the salt? I have so many questions here that I yeah. could bring up, because even you know, Dabari is uh, not making sense of this. You know. Uh, you mentioned something, and I want to go out on a limb here. The very observation itself could be used as a source of where this idea came from, and I would argue that the author of the Quran lived in an area that has something like this. And Petra and the Levant area is one of those possibilities because they have rivers in there, and they have uh, oceans that mix together and seas. Nowhere in Mecca you will find step something further. like this. What's just north of Petra? The yeah, Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, there you go. What is the Dead Sea? It's salty water. That's right. Why? Because it's the lowest point on Earth. Correct. And because of the evaporation, I have been to the Dead Sea. Have you been there? Not yet. I have swum in the Dead Sea. When you swim you in float. the Dead Sea, I have actually, you can read books by swimming. I have a picture of my mother doing this. She is reading. She doesn't even have to paddle to keep afloat. It is so densely salted that it holds you up. You don't even have to, uh, uh, to what's this called when you, when you, uh, just pedal or, or no, there's swim a word for it. I can't remember it's top of my head right now. Okay. Uh, when you just keep still in the water, as you would have to do in a salty water okay. in the ocean. This is so salty, you don't even have to tread water. That's, That's the right. word I'm looking for. You That's don't even right. have to tread water. That could be what they're talking about, that there's the salt water and there's the fresh water that comes into it, but is there a barrier that you can't transverse, transgress? See, even that is at fault. So whoever is making this observation has made not only the error of not being able to transgress it, he's also assuming, therefore, that, that one does not, one, one does not in, uh, uh, dissipate into the other. They do dissipate. In fact, where do you think the Dead Sea gets its water from? Right. It gets from the Jordan River. Yes, that's correct. Which is, which is fresh water. Correct. So you have to, oh, there are so many questions we can ask Absolutely. about this. It also seems to suggest what you're kind of getting at is that maybe this is where this is coming from. We're seeing a lot of evidence of that in the Quran. Which fits with a lot of Dan Gibson's Exactly, material. exactly. And that will be added. Uh, you know, we need to investigate that because when somebody talks about something, then they have knowledge of it. They've seen it. And we've noticed already all of these so-called miracles are based on observations. That's the case we're making here. If everything is based on observations, then we can make a case that somebody observed this and therefore they're talking about it. And with that says, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together, we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.